Hello everybody, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.6 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. In this video, we illustrate the use of partitions, to separate the three regions in apply drop-off simulation. In module part, we begin by drawing a 3D, deformable, shell, planar sketch, with the dimensions of the whole ply drop-off region. Then, we use tools, datum, plane, offset from principal plane YZ, to delimit the center section of the drop-off. Then, use tool, partition, face, to partition the face of the part using the datum planes defined earlier. The lamina is AS4D-9310 carbon epoxy, as in the previous video. We define three sections, one for each region of the drop-off. Section A has five laminas in a 45-45090 stacking sequence. Section AB is a 45 minus 45 90 zero, having lost its center zero lamina. Section B is a 45 minus 45 zero, having lost the 90 lamina. Next we use the assignment manager to assign the sections to the regions of the domain, with shell offset, bottom surface, so that the nodes of the mesh will be aligned on a common surface. Section A to the region on the left. Section AB to the center region. Section B to the region on the right.
the assembly is trivial because we have only one part. Next we create a step. Inside module step, we edit the field output request, to include 3 times 5 equals 15, section points, where later we can get results. In module load, we start with the boundary conditions, clamped on the left. At the bottom, along axis Y, we put symmetry boundary conditions. We apply the load as a shell edge load on the edge on the right of the structure. Now we mesh. Now we need a job, when completed, click results. Among results, we can get the deformed shape. We can see stress at the bottom, middle, and top surface of each lamina. And more. Okay, that's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.